call the Honourable Minister Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Chair, could I thank the previous speaker for his lecture as to what a university does um, and also for his uh, assertion uh, that this government is about rhetoric when it comes to tertiary education because I would like to now dispel that with some facts. And I would have thought somebody who lectured at a university might be focused on a few facts because facts can be quite helpful to discern the difference between what's actually happening and what could be known as rhetoric. So, Mr. Mr Chair, I'd like to make a few comments if I could because I think this government has made very good progress in strengthening our tertiary system. And here's some of the evidence, Mr Chair. In 2012, we're funding the highest number of core tertiary places that have ever been funded in New Zealand universities and the wider tertiary system. 13,200 more places in 2012 than in 2008. It's not bums on seats either, Mr Chair. We are also funding for performance, for completing courses and qualifications. And every institution has 5% of their tuition funding at risk so that they focus on that, Mr Chair. We're getting better results for priority learners than was done previously for those who have struggled historically. For example, Māori at University now have 5,500 more places than in 2008, and their completion rates are up too, Mr Chair. We're making great progress in literacy and numeracy. I know the member for New Zealand first concerned about that. Well, she'll be pleased to know that the expectation out of embedded literacy and numeracy at foundation levels means that there will be 122,000 people this year taking courses at foundation level with embedded literacy and numeracy, up from 36,000 two years ago and from 15,000 just after we came into office, Mr Chair. We've also made great progress in simplifying and reducing qualifications in New Zealand, which was a big issue when we arrived in office with people crying out to reduce the number of qualifications between levels one and six. We're down to 3,500 and we will be down to about 1,300 by the end of 2014, uh, Mr Chair. We've also made some very good progress in the industry training space, which is very, very important because the industry training space was not going at all well when we came into office. 53% of trainees in 2008 and 54% in 2009 achieved no credits at all, Mr Chair. No credits. They were phantom trainees. They were trainees of the previous government's imagination. We have since seen a real lift in performance of ITOs. We've had a 19% increase in credit achievements from 2008 to 2010. And the provisional results for last year now suggest that we're getting a 70% credit rate achievement in industry training. So that's good results too, Mr Chair. On top of that, we had the member saying that New Zealand universities were poor and struggling. Well, I can tell him the good news. They may have been in 2008, but in 2012, we've now got university incomes up by 13.5% in the global financial crisis. So they may have been struggling four years ago, but they're 13.5% higher today. 2.9% increase in university incomes in the last year alone. So that should help Mr Clendon with his problems with the facts, Mr Chair, that New Zealand's tertiary education system is healthy, it's getting healthier, and it's also doing it during the global financial crisis. And in Budget 2012, Mr Chair, we're investing more. We're investing an additional $42 million in engineering over the next four years. We're investing $17 million extra in science teaching at universities. We're putting $100 million extra into research at universities. We're putting $30 million to reduce the funding gap between public and private tertiary providers. And we're putting 3,000 more youth guarantee places over the next four years, Mr Chair. That's what we're doing to invest in tertiary education. So we have a member popping up 
criticising the government for being about rhetoric and telling stories and then doing exactly what he said the government was doing and then he sits down and he doesn't realise that all these facts say that the New Zealand tertiary system is going much better, Mr Chair. And what's more, we're supporting Canterbury University. Yes, they're in times of trouble. We have maintained their... Mr Chair, we have, the maintained, Honourable Minister. we have maintained their funding, Mr Chair. We've made sure that we've stood behind them. We're working with them in terms of investment opportunities going forward to lift themselves again, to actually invest in areas where there's strong student support. We're taking that business case forward, Mr Chair. Yes, they've had difficulties. One of their faculties has lost a 1,000 students as a result of the earthquake. And the member seems to be suggesting that they should not adjust their staffing at all to reflect their new reality. Well, Mr Chair, it is tough. And I feel for those people who aren't necessarily going to be able to stay in that role. But for the sake of the other 2,000 people working at that university and the thousands and thousands of students, we have to acknowledge the reality of what happened. We have to invest in the future, but we have to take it forward and we have to be realistic about what's going on. Mr Chair, we are investing significantly in the tertiary education system. And before I sit down, I'd like to make one comment for the previous speaker before that who criticised the idea of international students coming to New Zealand as if it was a bad thing. Well, it's not a bad thing, Mr Chair. It is good for this country. It is good for this country to have the people-to-people -people links that international students bring to this country when they come in. And frankly, the Chinese, the Indians, the other Asian communities, the English, the Europeans, the US, when they come here, they do some learning. They, yes, they provide some income for New Zealanders, and when they go back, they're lifelong friends for New Zealand, and that's helpful to have when you're a small country and a small whopper at the bottom of the world. International education, despite what New Zealand first thinks, is not bad. It's good for this country, and actually they need to realise that it's a positive thing that we invest. And happily doesn't take away any places from domestic students, Mr Chair. So it's all good stuff. So you can relax, Mr Clendon. The tertiary system is in good hands. And if you want to debate facts, happy to do so at any time. I call the honourable... Take a short call on...